If you're like me and love diving into plasma physics, space weather, and the forces shaping our universe, then you've probably heard of magnetohydrodynamics, or MHD. MHD is a key concept for understanding how plasma interacts with magnetic fields. In this video, we'll break down MHD, what it is, how it works, and we'll explore its scientific magic in the real world. And if you're fascinated by the plasma phenomena like me, this is a must watch. And be sure to hit that notification bell so that way when Bioillumination releases its next video, you'll be there to explore the wonders of this world with me. To understand magnetohydrodynamics, let's first break down the word to get a clear picture of what we're really talking about. Magneto refers to magnetic fields, which are essential for understanding how charged particles interact and move. Hydro means fluid, indicating that MHD applies to the flow of materials. Dynamics describes the motion and evolution of these fluids, including how they respond to forces, especially magnetic ones. While plasma isn't technically a liquid, it behaves like one, meaning it flows and responds to forces. So in short, magnetohydrodynamics studies electrically conducting fluids, including plasmas, liquid metals, and even salt water. Unlike regular fluids, these materials respond to magnetic forces, leading to behaviors that don't exist in non-conducting liquids like water. Hannes Alphen laid the foundation in the 1940s when he proposed that plasma and magnetic fields move together as a single system. This led to one of the most important concepts, the frozen influx theorem. We'll explore that in just a moment. Although Alphen's groundbreaking work was initially dismissed by the scientific community, some 30 years later, his genius was finally recognized, and he ended up winning the Nobel Prize in 1970 for his contribution. If you want to dive deeper into Alphen's work, including his fascinating publication, Plasma Physics, Space Research, and the Origin of the Solar System, check out the video I did earlier this week. Now let's look at the frozen influx theorem. In an ideal plasma where the electrical resistance is extremely low, magnetic field lines behave as though they are frozen in the plasma. This means that as the plasma moves, it drags the magnetic field along with it. This principle helps explain why structures like solar prominences, coronal loops, and large-scale cosmic plasma filaments maintain their shape. They are shaped by the movement of plasma, which carries the magnetic field lines with it. One unique thing about the motion of plasma is that it isn't just controlled by regular fluid dynamics. It follows the laws of electromagnetism as well. Because plasma is made of charged particles, its movement is influenced by both fluid forces and magnetic forces. It utilizes Maxwell's equations, which describe how electric and magnetic fields interact with each other and how they influence the behavior of charged particles. And Navier-Stokes equations describe how fluids move and respond to forces. In magnetohydrodynamics, these two equations are unified into a single framework. But plasma doesn't just flow, it also supports different kinds of waves that help transport energy. Some key MHD waves include Alphen and magnetosonic waves. Alphen waves are waves that travel along magnetic field lines, similar to plucking a stretched rubber band where tension in the field lines pulls it back into place. These waves are responsible for transferring energy through plasma in regions like the sun's corona and Earth's magnetosphere. Magnetosonic waves, on the other hand, are similar to sound waves, but are influenced by both plasma pressure and magnetic fields. These waves carry energy over large distances and contribute to the heating and dynamics of plasma systems, especially in Earth's magnetosphere and other astrophysical environments. 
they behave differently than alphine waves due to the added influence of pressure and magnetic tension. And understanding them is key to understanding how energy moves in plasma systems. Now, plasma and magnetic fields don't always remain in perfect balance. When certain conditions are met, MHD systems can become unstable, leading to sudden changes. Some examples of this include magnetic reconnection, kink instability, and Raleigh-Taylor instability. Let's begin with magnetic reconnection. This occurs when two opposing magnetic field lines break and reconfigure, releasing massive amounts of energy. This powers solar flares, coronal mass ejections, and even auroras on Earth. Kink instability happens when a magnetic field inside a plasma loop, like a solar prominence, becomes too twisted. The field lines snap into a new configuration, sometimes releasing energy explosively. And lastly, the Raleigh-Taylor instability occurs when a denser plasma sits on top of a lighter plasma, causing the layers to mix and form a chaotic structure. This instability is an important factor in how energy is transferred in plasmas. But plasma isn't just affected by the magnetic field. It can create them too. When plasma moves, it generates electric currents, which in turn create new magnetic fields. This self-generated magnetism is why plasma systems, like the sun's magnetic field or Earth's core, are so dynamic and complex. So as you can see, at its core, MHD is the science of how magnetic fields and plasma shape each other. It explains why plasma structures stay stable, why energy moves through plasma in waves, and why the sun's activity constantly changes. Okay, now that you understand the basics, let's see the scientific magic in action. Next, we'll take a closer look at three areas where MHD plays a major role, the sun, auroras, and planetary magnetism. The sun is essentially a giant self-sustaining MHD system. Plasma movement inside the sun generates powerful magnetic fields, which then influence the plasma's behavior, creating a constant feedback loop. MHD explains the formation of sunspots. These occur when twisted magnetic fields suppress plasma movement, causing cooler regions to form on the sun's surface. This results in the characteristic dark spots we observe. Magnetic field instability also drives solar flares and coronal mass ejections. When magnetic field lines become twisted and unstable, they reconnect releasing massive bursts of plasma and energy. They travel through space, sometimes reaching Earth. But overall, MHD models help scientists predict space weather events. By understanding the behavior of plasma and magnetic fields, we can forecast solar storms, improving our ability to protect satellites, astronauts, and even power grids on Earth. Now let's turn our attention to the stunning auroras, which are essentially an MHD-driven light show created by the interaction between the solar wind and Earth's magnetosphere. When charged particles from the sun get caught in Earth's magnetic field lines, they are guided towards the poles, where they collide with atoms in the upper atmosphere. These collisions excite gases like oxygen and nitrogen, causing them to glow in brilliant colors. Without MHD processes governing how plasma flows in space, auroras wouldn't exist. Since we're already back on Earth talking about the auroras, let's now move to our core. Magnetic fields exist because of MHD effects in Earth's molten iron core, where moving conductive fluid generates electric currents, which in turn create a magnetic field. Without this planetary scale MHD system, Earth's magnetic field wouldn't exist, leaving the planet vulnerable to solar radiation. This same MHD process, known as geodynamo, powers the magnetic fields of other planets, 
like Jupiter, Saturn, and even some exoplanets. Magnetohydrodynamics isn't just about understanding the universe, it's also shaping the future of science and technology. As our ability to study and control plasma improves, MHD is becoming increasingly important in several cutting-edge fields. For example, one of the biggest challenges in nuclear fusion is containing superheated plasma, and MHD plays a crucial role in developing magnetic confinement systems like tokamaks and stellarators. Advanced MHD modeling helps scientists predict and control plasma instabilities, which is essential for sustaining a stable fusion reaction. If we master this, we could achieve a clean, nearly limitless energy source. Additionally, MHD principles are being used to develop advanced plasma propulsion systems like magnetoplasma dynamic thrusters. These engines could provide efficient, high-speed propulsion, enabling future missions to reach Mars and beyond faster than conventional rockets. Some concepts explore using MHD-driven magnetic sails, where a spacecraft could interact with the solar wind for propulsion, effectively riding plasma currents across space. Lastly, the study of MHD-driven stellar winds and planetary magnetospheres is helping scientists understand exoplanets and their habitability. Planets with strong magnetic fields may be better protected from solar radiation, increasing their chances of supporting life. MHD is not just a tool for understanding the present. It's key to shaping the future. As we push the boundaries of space travel, fusion energy, and planetary science, magnetohydrodynamics will continue to be at the forefront of discovery. Magnetohydrodynamics is more than just a scientific theory. It is a fundamental force shaping the universe. From the fiery surface of the sun to the shimmering auroras on Earth, MHD explains how plasma and magnetic fields interact on both the cosmic and planetary scale. The more we understand MHD, the more we unlock the hidden mechanics of the universe.